Hundreds of millions of miles away from planet Earth, the spacecraft Juno is in orbit around Jupiter. And for two years, the probe has been sending mind-boggling images of the planet back to NASA, where experts publish the incredible findings online. In 2018, however, and thanks to Juno's work, eagle-eyed observers seemingly spotted something sinister lurking in outer space. Jupiter's colossal. Indeed, Earth could fit inside the other planet over 1,320 times. What's more, Jupiter's mass is some two and a half times bigger than that of its fellow planets in the solar system, all combined. But despite this, the huge solar body is mostly composed of hydrogen. This means ostensibly that it has no solid surface to speak of. Jupiter's fascinated stargazers for ages too. Perhaps ever since Galileo Galilei observed the planet through a telescope in 1610. Looking closely, Galilei spotted Jupiter's four orbiting moons in what's said to have been the first time that moons of other planets apart from Earth were viewed by a telescope. And since this dramatic discovery, many generations of astronomers have trained their telescopes on Jupiter in a bid to learn more. NASA's made efforts to glean information about the planet too, sending the probe Pioneer 10 into orbit in 1972. Then after a 21-month journey to get to Jupiter, Pioneer 10 began sending invaluable data back to scientists on Earth. Subsequently, several missions have been made to Jupiter, with each one uncovering intriguing facts about the planet and its environment. Then, in August 2011, NASA launched Juno, a spacecraft designed for orbit around Jupiter. And nearly five years and over 1.7 billion miles later, the probe arrived at its destination. Named after the goddess Juno in Roman and Greek mythology, the craft had an important mission. Over a seven-year period, it would collect data about a number of factors, including Jupiter's magnetic and gravity fields, the planet's composition and its polar magnetosphere. Or the extent to which it affects the solar wind and uniquely three wings equipped with solar panels the biggest of their kind ever to be used in a planetary probe power juno given that these wings still work two officials at nasa decided to extend the craft's stay in orbit around jupiter until july 2021. juno's orbit is also the closest that mankind has ever gotten to jupiter with the probe's trajectory bringing it within 2600 miles of the planet once every two weeks and although there have been two previous attempts to reach a similar distance, both ended in disaster when the respective crafts were destroyed within the giant's hostile atmosphere. But Juno has been a roaring success, and it regularly sends stunning images of Jupiter back to Earth. The craft has been able to observe, for example, such areas as the Great Red Spot. There, a storm is thought to have been raging for almost 200 years. Juno and her cloud-penetrating science instruments will dive in to see how deep the roots of the storm go, and it will help us to understand how this giant storm works and what makes it so special," mission leader Scott Bolton told the Daily Mail in 2017. Meanwhile, the craft's stunning images of Jupiter's clouds, auroras, and moons have delighted amateurs and professionals alike. And in September 2018, Juno was approaching Jupiter for the 15th time when it snapped a typically incredible image of the planet below. From around 7,400 miles above the surface, the craft captured an elusive feature dubbed as a brown barge. This phenomenon is a cyclonic weather formation which in this case was spotted in the planet's south equatorial region. Then eight days after the brown barge was discovered, NASA released a statement announcing its impressive find. Accompanying the text, moreover, was a color-enhanced image of the region in question by non-professional scientist Kevin M. Gill. Apparently, the agency releases raw data from Juno to the public, allowing anyone at home to put together incredible snapshots of a world millions of miles away. However, the edited image didn't just provide a fascinating glimpse into a rarely seen aspect of Jupiter's weather. According to some, it also apparently revealed a terrifying secret about what's lurking in outer space. And in October 2010, the YouTube channel Secure Team 10 posted a video purporting to explain the shocking revelation. Launched in 2011, Secure Team 10 covers strange stories from around the solar system. In fact, according to their description, they are the number one channel for breaking reports on the many mysteries of our universe. And with more than 530 million views on their videos at the time of this writing, their fringe theories appear to have piqued considerable interest. In the October 2010 video, narrator Tyler begins by introducing Gill's image, 
However, the camera then zooms in to reveal what appears to be a strange anomaly, an unidentified green object seemingly emerging from behind the planet. And given the great mass of Jupiter, Tyler speculates that the unknown feature could be colossal in size. However big this is, Tyler enthuses, I don't know if it would be as big as Earth, maybe half the size of Earth, but as you guys can clearly see here, right up at the top of this image, you can see it poking out. Only when we zoom in do we see just how strange this object is. And it seems to actually have some shape to it. It's sort of a rectangular shape, but sort of tilted, sort of skewed sideways. Moreover, Tyler claims that the object is actually emerging from the planet's atmosphere, rather than overlapping it. This suggests to him that its appearance is not a glitch. The list of natural objects that this could be narrows down very quickly, he explains, and what we are left with, we are forced to consider that what we have here is something unnatural, a massive unidentified structure. Tyler also states that a number of strange phenomena have been observed around Jupiter over the years. In the comments section of the video, some have even claimed to have witnessed similar objects themselves. That looks like the UFO I've sighted here, wrote one user. I saw that craft in 1998 in Portland, added another. However, not everyone is convinced that the object is something out of this world. One commenter on the site, Sot.net, has argued, for example, that dirt on the camera lens caused this bizarre effect. In fact, they claim that a higher resolution of the image clearly shows that the anomaly is in front of rather than within the planet's atmosphere. So far, Secure Team 10's video has been viewed more than 320,000 times, although those keen for more information on the mysterious object have yet to receive any updates from NASA. Meanwhile, Juno itself will continue its orbit until 2021, when it will be intentionally released to disintegrate in Jupiter's atmosphere.